Hey, how's it going? I hope the day is going great so far. So in this video, I wanna show you how you can find keywords for YouTube videos. Now there's many different ways that you can go about finding the keywords for your YouTube videos. And I'll just show you a strategy that I like to use and it works pretty well for my channel. Okay, so if you're posting in a specific niche on YouTube, then you'll already have your topic of what you wanna find your video keywords about. Now, I'll just use the example for my channel in this video. So what I post on my channel is everything related to social media tips, like how to delete your Instagram account, how to delete a TikTok draft, videos like that, very quick and basic video tutorials that will solve a specific problem for the user watching that video. So that's mainly the type of content I'm posting on my channel. Obviously, your channel is gonna be a little bit different and the topics that you try and find are gonna be a little bit different. So what you can do is, first of all, you can open up an incognito tab so that when you're searching for a specific keyword, your previous search history isn't gonna influence what shows up in the search results. Okay, so I've just opened up an incognito tab on my Chrome browser because I couldn't really figure out how to do it on the Opera browser. So you can see incognito mode. So I'm gonna search for something. Now, when you have a channel that's focused on finding keywords for your videos, that normally means that you have a search-based channel on YouTube. So search-based videos are normally how-to type of topics. So like how to tie a tie, how to bake a cake, how to change a flat tire on a car things like that. So I'll type how to, and I'll just show you a quick method that you can use if you wanna generate some ideas. Okay, so what you can now do is you can see all these auto suggestions that do come up. Um, but what you wanna do, you wanna put an action word in here. So an action word is something like make or get or draw or draw once again, drive an action word like that. So an action word could be how to add and then you see all these other auto suggestions pop up. So how to add music to Instagram story, how to add page numbers in Word from a specific page. Topics like that are good search-based topics that you can upload onto your channel to get views and to earn money through the AdSense partner program and everything like that. So let's just pick a one from this list. And when you're doing this process, you kind of have to just do trial and error and click on a few of them to see which ones are gonna be the best fit for your channel. If you have a small channel, then you wanna go for things that aren't as competitive as the other keywords. So let me go and click on this one, how to add subtitles to a video. So this is a process that you can do in order to find keywords for your search-based channel. So easily add subtitles to any video in minutes. It got 965,000 views in two years. Definitely a lot of searches for this keyword and a lot of views for the top ranking video right here. The next one has 502,000 views in two years. Okay, so you may notice that these videos are quite old. This one, two years, this one, two years. Let's just scroll down a little bit more. One year ago, three years ago, one month ago, 84,000 views, but that's actually a verified channel. So it's a big channel. So they are able to rank in, um, on the first page and compete with all these other videos. Now, if you have a small channel, then you wanna maybe go for something that's a little bit less competitive. And what you can also do right now is you can like take the keyword, you can copy it, you can push Command or Control F on your keyboard, and you can see how many people are actually searching for this exact phrase that I typed in here. So four results right here. And if I just scroll down, you can find them right here. So here they are, how to add subtitles to a video, how to add subtitles to a video. And the keyword that we searched for was how to add subtitles to a video. So four people have that exact search phrase and you can see that it um, has 93K views in one year. Definitely a good amount of views for that time period. So if you have a small channel, this might be a little bit more competitive to target for this specific video. So you maybe have to do that process again. So then you would open up an incognito tab again, go back to YouTube, and then you will just repeat that process. Now you may notice that this is quite time consuming and it can take quite some time to generate these ideas. Okay, so let's do it again, how to, and then put for just an example, draw, and then you see, okay, that is uh, short phrase keywords. Um, so that's gonna be pretty hard to rank for, meaning that there's not a lot of words in the keyword, meaning that it's gonna be pretty competitive. So then we could type something like um, how to draw, then you can just go through the alphabet 
and see what comes up so how to draw anime how to draw animes for beginners okay then you would click on this then you would just repeat this process until you find a, a good video topic that you could make so how to draw anime basic okay so this might be a little bit more difficult to make this um so you have to just go based off your niche but like i said this can work in any niche every single niche has search phrases that people are typing into the search bar and you can make those videos and you can get views on your videos now like i said this is time consuming and this is a skill that you develop over time it may take you a couple of months to master the specific skill of youtube keyword research okay but you can do something that's a lot easier for beginners in order to generate some of these ideas. So what you can do is you can use the vidIQ keyword tool that they have available. So vidIQ is a company, they have a YouTube channel where they talk about all these YouTube tips and stuff. And they do have this um, very powerful vidIQ software that you can actually use in order to generate ideas for your videos. Now vidIQ can do a lot of other things as well and I do have those covered in other videos which I'll link up at the end of this video. So you can see they have daily ideas, ARR generator, you can look at your competitors, analyze subscribers, do SEO and they have an AI coach all covered in those other videos. So if you want to watch those videos you can check those out. But we focused on this video on the keyword uh, research portion of it so then I'll just type in here how to let's just type how to bake a cake okay so that's quite a short keyword okay so that's going to be quite competitive but what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be pressing enter and then we'll see what comes up because vidIQ keyword uh, research tool can actually give you uh, up to 300 keywords that you can target for your video so you can see they do have a score for this keyword the main keyword that i did type in then you can see the related keywords like how to bake a cake for beginners how to make a cake cake decorating so this is all about idea generation for your youtube channel you don't want to be just using these keyword research tools all on their own you just want to use them to generate ideas so you can get good video topics and then you can qualify these topics on the actual youtube platform itself like i just showed you you want to analyze the subscribers how many views did they get in what time frame and all that stuff and how many channels are actively using that so exact search phrase as their keyword title things of that nature you want to definitely take a look at but then you can see i'm going to click here which says matching terms which is what i like to use when finding keywords so then i'm going to click view all 300 matching terms and you can see uh, there's a whole list of keywords so if you're running low on ideas this is great to generate ideas for your youtube videos so let's analyze this and see what we could potentially make with a small channel um, on YouTube okay so we can sort this by the search volume the competition the overall score and the number of words what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort it by the competition so we can get some low-hanging fruit that might be a little bit easier to rank for okay so I'm going to scroll down so these are all very high competition is what the vidIQ is telling us and if you analyze these keywords yourself on the YouTube platform you might notice that that is quite accurate it is going to be quite competitive so I'm going to scroll down here so I get something that has like medium or low competition. Let's go for low competition. Let's just see this one. How to bake a cake in an air fryer. Okay, perfect. 1,600 searches per month. Low competition and the overall score is 56. Now, if you want something that's a little bit even better, you can go here where it has a green score of 61. Very low competition. Search volume is still good at 1,486. And that keyword is how to bake a key lime cake. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back onto YouTube in incognito. Remember, you want to do this in incognito and then I'm going to open up YouTube again. And there's the keyword right here, how to bake a key lime cake. And you can see YouTube gives us some extra suggestions that may be even easier to rank for. So the longer the keyword is, normally the easier it is to rank for that keyword. So how to make a key lime pound cake, how to make a key lime cake from box. How to make a key lime cake from scratch so i like this actually this pound cake one because that's a longer keyword it might be easier to rank for and you can see this is actually pretty good because the videos ranking are quite old a year ago three years ago one year ago so youtube likes fresh content and if you can provide the platform with fresh content they're going to rank you higher in the search results so four years ago okay uh, key lime pound cake so the the search volume is definitely um average it's not like the best but then we can see how many 
actual people are using this. So there's just two exact um, phrase matches right there. So then you can see that's the keyword right here. So if you are a small channel, this might be a great keyword that you can actually use in order to get your start on YouTube and start ranking videos and start getting some views on your channel. So that's basically the strategy on how you can use the YouTube platform itself, combine it with the vidIQ keyword research platform, and um, you'll be able to find tons and tons of keywords for your channel um, and doing it this way. So if you would like to test out the vidIQ keyword research tool, you can click the first link in the description of this video. It'll take you to the vidIQ page. You can simply just sign up with Google and then you'll have yourself a free account. Now with vidIQ, you can get started for free, but they do also have a paid upgrade, um, which is $10 per month and a, another upgrade, which is $49 per month. The plan that I'm using to find all these keywords, um, 300 of them right here, is actually the pro plan, which is um, $10 per month, like I just mentioned. So if you have the free plan, I think you might, might get like 30 or 40 different keywords that you can target, but that is also a great start. And if you wanna get more keywords later on down the line, you can upgrade to the pro membership. So click that first link in the description of this video if you would like to test drive VidIQ for free. And don't forget to like this video if it helped you out. And I'll see you in the next video.